In today's session, we are going to talk about your constraint based data mining, your uh, graph patterns and your uh, sequential pattern mining. Coming to the constraint based data mining, already the topics which we have covered which is based upon the data constraint, your knowledge minded, everything comes into picture here again. See constraint based mining. Now finding all the patterns in a database automa automatically which is unrealistic. Actually, we have got all these questions when I am talking about your interestingness of patterns. So, same thing is applicable because whatever the uh, uh, patterns I have got which are not interesting to me, what is interesting only the thing which is required to me is interesting. Now, the patterns could be too much not but not focused. Now, data mining should be an interactive process. Yes, obviously data mining should be an interactive process. When I am asking a question, I can take an example of your uh, same your Google, Google lens, whatever I have taken in the previous sessions. So, when I am asking, when I am scanning something in the uh, using a Google lens, it has to give me the output for that. The same thing, it should be what interactive process, user directs what to be minded using a data mining query language or a graphical user interface. Next constraint based mining. Now here in your constraint based mining which is user flexibility, it's it is optimization and even uh, it is easy to select from the database query processing. If you all can remember this we can easily relate to your uh, structure of DBMS. In your structure of DBMS we have database query processor. In the database query processor what is happening? The It, it evaluates the query whatever you have given. It uh, converts the query and gives the output. The same thing is your constraint based mining. Coming to your user flexibility what is it doing? It provides which has to be minded which is easy. Next optimization, optimization what? It is efficient mining. How it is efficient mining? Again it is based upon because of your constraint based mining. Because in your con constraint based mining we use a concept called as database query processing wherein it extracts the information, it evaluates and it generates the output. Now. As I told you before starting, it is purely based upon whatever we have learnt already. Knowledge type constraint that is about your classification and association. Then your data constraints, those are your what your SQL queries. Next you have dimensional level constraints. Here I can talk about your previous session what I spoke about your levels, different types of levels. If I talk about your milk, how a uh, normal milk and your skimmed milk is having the threshold that I can take here. You can all also in relevance of your region, price, brand, customer category, everything comes here when I talk about this. When I talk about rule constraint, again I can talk about your SQL here, rules. When I am talking about which is greater than or which is equal to or when I am comparing the ages, when I am comparing the salary, when I am comparing the marks, everything comes into picture when I am talking about rules here. Then coming to your graph patterns. Graph is nothing but what? It is a diagrammatic representation where you have directed graph, undirected graph, already this you have learnt in your uh, MFCS and your uh, DSC++ also about your graphs. You have edges, you have vertices, connecting any two edges is called a graph, connecting multiple edges is also called a graph, everything your vertices, how you are going to get the values of edges, vertices, what is the degree, everything you have already learned. The same thing, see we use graphs where when I am talking about a basic thing, basic construction of a marks, comparing a marks, I use it. When I talk about a DNA, again it is a graph. When I have a chemical compounds, when you, when I take a tablet, a dolo tablet, there I have multiple chemical compounds, chemical compounds to look into it, to combine it. There also I can have a graph. You can see, you can have a protein structure or your bio, uh, biological networks or you can program control flow like your flow chart again it is a graph then your XML databases web and social networks when I am moving from one tab to the another tab that is also you have created a web page in that web page I am moving from home to the uh, main uh, user ID or when I am uh, logging into the user ID I am going to the home page so there also I have a graph a moment from here to here here to there so any moment is nothing but a graph. Okay, graph is general model what you have trees, you have lattices, you have sequences. 
what is the diversity of this graphs you have what as i told you have directed undirected you have labeled that is again spoke about your edges vertices everything comes into picture this is all about your graph patterns how a graph can be drawn what are the different patterns pattern might be it might be used for your chemical compounds or it might be your uh, normal web pages or it might be your uh, biological this thing anything can be drawn in the form of a graph you all can see graph is everywhere yes aspirin i told you an example of a dolo tablet or a paracetamol tablet everything is a combination here i have internet yes connecting from one network to the another network again yes co-author networks i have a book for that i have n number of co-authors that is linked with the other authors your interaction your yeast protein everything whatever it is connecting from one point to the other point is called as your graph this is all about your graph patterns next let's move on to your sequential pattern mining as the name itself is telling us what it's a sequence step by step is nothing but a sequence again i can take a best example for this is your uh, uh, what do you call your web page one after the other i'll move on to the page first when i log when i want to log in what do i do the first page i'll get is what my username and password once i am done with that i'll move on to the next page so that is sequence one after the other i'm going now it is nothing but what it's a fundamental tool for what data analysis that, such as your web browsing everything now to find sequential patterns who is not less than your specified threshold here you can see in an example here you have an input data you have pre processing after pre processing what am i doing i am doing the mining then i am doing post processing then i am giving the output this is nothing but what a sequence order first i need to give a data without giving a data i can't do the pre processing without pre processing i can't go to the mining patterns what are your mining patterns you have till now you have studied about your a priori and your fp growth i can't go there after doing that i need to do the post processing right based upon the result or based upon the association rule mining whatever i have got that i have to check from that only i can give the output so this is nothing but your sequential pattern in the session we have studied about the first topic is about your constraint based mining in your constraint based mining we have seen how uh, how it is whether the given thing is uh, unrealistic or realistic but all the patterns are important to us or not then we have seen how it is flexible to the user then uh, about the optimization and how your constraint based mining is used uh, in uh, using your uh, database uh, query processing then we have seen how the type uh, knowledge type constraints like your association uh, classification correlations are useful here then about your data constraint using sql then we have seen how the rules are used like your greater than lesser than equal to all this are used then we have moved on to your graph patterns how a graph is used what are the different types of graphs we have and uh, how the basic components it might be your uh, chemical components or your biological networks or your program controls like your flow charts everything your social networks everything uses your graph patterns and these are some of the graph patterns we have seen then we have last we have moved on to the last topic that is your sequential pattern mining where in your sequential pattern mining we have seen how it is moving on from one step to the other step this is all about your last topic that is your constraint based mining your graph patterns and your sequential pattern mining